Ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Hey guys, so welcome back to another episode of Just Eat. Today we are here at Pongo, where we are going to find Val and Desmond that runs Eat Hum. Yes, so Eat Hum is a home-based business and uh, as the name suggests, they uh, they specialize in hum, but they also do serve other shell food. For example, uh, lala, shell, shell fish, for example like lala, prawns, basically anything that comes from the sea, la, okay? Shell fish. Yeah, and we are outside their house together with their bird. As you can hear them, hear it, and we're gonna go in and uh, have, have a conversation with them. <laughs> Let's go. Now we are in the home of uh, Eat Hum and we're going to speak to Val who is the co-founder and uh, she has a lot of kids around so if yeah. there's a bit of noise, we apologize for that. But... A very beautiful and hot mum. Yeah. <laughs> for... for four kids, yes. Yeah, so Val, tell us more about yourself and uh, Eat Hum as a home-based business. So we started this business during um, circuit breaker period. How we started was um, I did this uh, bowl of hums for my husband. He was craving for it. Then we went to Seng Shong to buy the hums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After doing it, I just posted it on my Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. okay. And then friends and, um, and neighbours actually commented like, oh, it looks nice and all that. Mm. So we were quite free at that point of time. <laughs> then we decided to, uh, why not just buy like, 8 or 10 kg of harms and then wow. we just like that that was just purely to send to friends and neighbors mm. just mm. for them to eat. The la. best kind of friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just for them to eat. No no intention is opening any business at all. Yeah. We received quite good feedback from them mm. and a few of them actually encouraged us to try opening a home-based business. After much encouragement, we decided hey, why not we just um set up the Instagram account and mm. then just try from there. La. So was that recipe yours? It was just you were just freestyling like it was a normal day, you just went to the kitchen and just like okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was very freestyle. <laughs> so how many orders can you send out like in a day? For peak period we need probably until four or five drivers. So mm. per wow. driver might take up to ten locations. Then we'll send out orders every hour or maybe half an hour. How did the idea of like level of spiciness came out? It was just yeah. because you were cooking a spicy one for him. Mm -hmm. and then you probably think like, oh, this might be too spicy for people. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Because I'm not a spicy person. I cannot I do you're a... pretty spicy. <laughs> <laughs> she is, she is. I mean, <laughs> you are. Okay, proceed. So basically, I'm more of like a 25% spicy level person. Mm. Okay. okay. Is there like a standard spice or is this like a bubble tea thing where you can do like 20%, 50%, yeah. 100%? Oh, You can wow. choose yourself. Is there any like other restaurants outside that you eat the hum, like hums from? We used to eat from Pu Tian. Pu Tian has hum dishes? I don't know what is Pu Tian though, but I'm just gonna... Pu Tian is a Chinese restaurant. Pu Tian, P-U-T-I-E-N. Yeah. Oh, the okay, blue, that I know. The yeah, blue yeah, yeah, I know, sign. I know, I, got, I eat that before. And one of it in Singapore is a Michelin, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so then do you compare yourself with that or do you just like, nah? Actually, I don't eat hum. Ah. <laughs> you should have started with that, because ah. the entire conversation will have changed. So this was all for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this. So we are going to try her hum right after this and we will let you know. Oh my lord. <laughs> Why do you laugh? <laughs> Cut. And we are ready to eat. So these are some of the few dishes that Eat Hum um, provides or, 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 or is selling. Maybe Desmond, you can take us through what's this first. Okay, this is uh, Harry Hums. Mm. It's called Harry Hums because the shells are hairy. Harry Hum is uh, the taste is uh, lesser of the blood bloody taste, oh, more, okay, of the, okay. more of the ocean taste, you know, ocean ah, okay. taste kind, and it's crunchier. And the one here, these are uh, normal regular catch, uh, normal cockles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there are three because it's the different spice level. Yeah, right? different spice level. Okay, do you know which is which? Because later. I, I, can, can I guess? I 
I think that one's the most spicy. Yo. Can you tell? Or I you can no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we will know later. <laughs> okay, and then this is... This is a gong gong. You can pair it together with the chili. And this is obviously prawn. Yeah, live prawns. Is this yeah. part cooked as well? No, or this is fully, fully cooked. cooked. Yeah, okay. this is fully cooked. Okay, cool. If it's sparkle, you will cook it really nice. <laughs> yeah, so th this prawns, really? what, 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 what flavour is this? Uh, it's the same mari marination as the hams, but okay. um, when you do it with the hams, there's a mixture of a blood and the mm. sauce, so it will taste different. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, and we only use live prawns. Ah. So what are the basic procedures to prepare some a prawn dish? Basically not what we will prepare our own marination. Normally we will marinate, marinate it for maybe around two hours. Yeah, then after that we will cook it. Okay, yeah. so you marinate it, marinate. You marinate it when it's alive or when it's dead? When it's alive. Oh. <laughs> so if it's alive and then uh, you marinate it. Yes. But when you take out, is it dead ready or? Dead ready. Ah, right. Yeah. So the marination kills the... Okay, okay, yeah. okay. That makes sense. And uh, how how big is one serving usually when let's say I order on we online? Go, we go by weight, 450 grams. Okay. okay. Yeah. And what are the prices like? For regular catch of the day is $28 for the 450 grams mm -hmm. and $18 for 250 grams. And then the prawns? S is 38. Okay. L is 58. Okay, I think we covered everything. Now it's time to do the eating. It's the best part of the show. <laughs> Let's okay. eat! Okay, now we're gonna try the food. Have you tried this before? Yeah, and I think we should try the hum first. Ah. Okay, I feel like because it's the easiest to eat. Okay, okay. No, we'll try the hum last. Yeah, it's Why? spicy, Just right? Our producer wants us to try the ham last. Why did she say that with the face? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. So I feel like there's something up. Okay, now Abby, here you go. Do you know how to eat this? Yeah, you take it out. <laughs> Ooh, like a bit like sotong. Mm. So it's like, yeah, the texture is like very sotong-ish. Mm. I think it's because this is very fresh. Mm. Tastes them fresh, right? Yeah. I want another one. <laughs> Man, I like this. Wow, yeah. this is cooked really good. Very good. It's cooked very good. It's really very good, though. Yeah. yeah. Party every day. Party, party every day. We like to party every day. We will wait for Abby to have one more. But if you have one yeah, more. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Question, like, because it's so fresh, it just comes out really easy, right? I noticed with seafood, like prawns and everything, the shelling is harder when it's not fresh. Mm. So the same for this, like it's so fresh, it just popped out, popped right out of the shell. Very good. Okay, so next up, we're gonna try the prawns. Yeah, because we can't try the cockles first. Okay, so there's now Desmond mentioned that we, we have to... Uh, eat the head. Yeah, eat the head. Oh, no, okay, not exactly eat it. Like, um, give it a suck. <laughs> Ooh, juicy. Exactly. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, how much are So fresh! Dip the sauce real quick. I'm gonna taste a live marination. You know, okay, aesthetic... As, based on aesthetics, mm. right? It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, based on aesthetics alone, I'm a very, very big fan of garlic. Mm. So like, this is like drenched in garlic. The moment I saw it, I was like, wow, I'm very excited already. Show them how you peel the prawn. Okay. Twist and pull. I usually take out... Hey, my mother teach me to take out the leg hey. first and then... <laughs> Mommy! Okay. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's this like soy sauce taste. Yeah. There's a chili taste, and then there's a prawn taste, and then it ends with the garlic taste. So that was what was going through my, my taste buds. Do you agree or disagree? I tasted the prawn first. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> so what's the difference between the hairy ham again? Number one, it's hairy. Number two, it tastes more sea-ish. And not so bloody. And not so bloody. Mm. This one is the hairiest, I think. Can you see? You're a fan of hairy. <laughs> Are you? Oh! 
Harry Styles, yes. <laughs> yeah, we... You know what, next time we should do? We should do an entire episode where we... Um, there's this thing where things that you don't say on a dinner table that oh. sounds very wrong. Mm. We should do an episode where we just do that. All the I'm not very See. good at that. Okay, back to this. <laughs> oh, okay. No, You're gonna try raw man. first, okay? Is it raw? Uh, Deal. Like that. We're gonna try it like that first, not anything on top, but there's a lot of garlic, so I. First things first, he is not wrong at all about the crunchiness. I can understand why he said you can taste the sea. Wow. There's this saltiness at the end, which is happening in my mouth now. This does not taste like a cockle at all. Mm. To me, it only starts tasting kind of similar to a cockle towards the end. Mm, which is when the sea taste comes out. La. Yeah, but it's not strong. It's not a strong sea taste. And if you yeah. haven't had Harry Hum before, try this one. I, I think am... this is the first time I'm having this in my life. Thank Same. you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to go for the Hum next. But before we start, again, there's different level, level of spiciness. One is 0%, one is 50%, and one is 100%. Right now, we don't know which is which. Because when they serve us, we didn't see. But we're going to use our tongues to guess which is which. Okay. okay, so we... Ooh, my first time eating the blood. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Cheers! Yes. One shot. Mm, great. This is 0% spice. Wow, this tastes so different from all the stuff I've been eating, man. <laughs> <laughs> But I can, I, I'm now excited for, to try like this, the spicier ones. Yep, um, Desmond was right. It's different. Even though it's the same marinade, it tastes different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different taste. Yeah, so Desmond just mentioned to us that he cleaned it properly so there's no mud or anything. So you can just put it straight in your mouth. Actually, that's very true. Like, you know when you go to like Newton and eat and then like halfway yeah. you can taste sand? Yes. But this... Extra crunch. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Um. It's definitely 100%. Fresh seafood, man. Mm. Mm. Okay, my recommendation is to definitely go for the 100%. I was about to say the same thing. That was that was really good. Try what? The sauce? Yeah. I just have a bit. It tastes really nice, but you can taste, like, really taste the spice. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> <What? laughs> I mean, I can take it by it hit my throat all of a sudden. Oh, naughty word. Swear jar over there. <clears throat> okay, if I were to rate um, out of everything on this table, what's my favourite? I would say the prawn comes first. Yeah. This, this was just prepared really well. Yeah, and yeah. this one we have to say, I mean, if you if you ever plan on getting, you get, you, I think this is a must-buy also. Most I mean, apart unexpected. From this, yeah, so if you're getting this, get 100%. If you are get yes. if, if you don't if you don't plan to get this, you're going to regret. So please get it because the crunchiness is really like, it does not taste like ham at all. Like I mean, the texture it is not like normal kind of ham. It's like kind of yeah. Gone. Like see if you like it. It's different. Yeah. yeah. Even though it's a hairy cockle. Um. Hairy what again? Sorry. Hairy cockle. Correct. Again. <laughs> hairy ham. So you always want to know why we made you eat the ham last. Why? 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 Why did she make us eat the ham last? Okay, so we prepared like a real something for you. <laughs> I was speaking to Desmond and uh -huh. like they don't only offer until 100%. So oh my god. This is 600%. Oh! 600? Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh, cheese. Yes. Okay, one, two, three. What am I doing? Two pigs. Mm. Okay, too bad I can take it. Yeah. <laughs> I can do this. Eh? Then this is the real taste. You know, me. I really like that actually. I like 600%. I feel like I can take it. Eh? I actually really like the 600%. <laughs> So we come to the end of this episode, I hope you guys liked it. We would like to thank Val and Desmond for Eat Ham for serving yes. us this glorious table filled with shell food. Wife goals. Correct. All this happened because, you know, 
husband wanted some Yeah, this is so interesting though. Like, I'm, I'm really loving this like COVID-19 like circuit yeah. breaker. So many home-based businesses. And that's why we decided to do season one of home-based businesses. I feel like they need these types of things to kind of show what the, the hard work that goes behind all of yeah. this. If you guys plan on ordering Eat Hum, um, go to their Instagram. They do pre-orders um, four times a week. So you guys have to hurry because once they hit a certain number, they will close the pre-orders. Lah. And again, mm. if you're going to order, I feel like order everything on this table that we just ate. If you guys have anything you, are, you guys like us to try, let us know. Um, we will try it. If not, we'll see you guys in the next episode.